Hey everybody and welcome back to Basinger's Disc Golf Channel. Josh here and we have another disc review and giveaway for you. This review is on the Castaplast yarn. We have not one, but two Castaplast yarns to give away. As you can see, we have the first run regrind and we also have a stock yarn. We will be giving both of these discs away. So if you want to find out how to enter to win these discs, all you got to do is stay tuned to the end of the video. The yarn from Castaplast is a approach disc with the flight number is 4.5303. In this review, you will see five different people's opinion on the yarns and see clips of each of them throwing it. We have Jerry Griffith and myself from the original BDGC crew and two team BDGC members in Alan Palm and Mike DeVault. That's it for the intro. Let's see how these fly. Thanks for watching and as always, please click like, subscribe, comment, share this video with your friends and help promote disc golf in your area. This review on the uh, Castaplast yarn. So these are 4.5303 K1 line. This is the first run. And this one is what, just K K1 line? Stop, yeah. Just stop. So, uh, feel really good, just like all K plastic I've ever, that's a cast of plastic I've ever thrown. It's really grippy. Uh, a little bit overstable. It kind of reminds me of my X3. Uh, but feel great, fly great. I love the little dome. Uh, it's a good disc. Pick you one up. I thought they were pretty solid. Uh, they're super overstable. Uh, if you want something, if you're used to like a NB or just a more overstable putter, I think these are really good. Um, oddly enough, the ones we had today, one is super top on it, and the other one is the exact opposite, super puddle top. Um, both fly about the same. Um, no real difference between that puddle and that top, um, but solid disc. Uh, I like the feel of it. Uh, just really overstable. So if you want really overstable, that's your disc. A little bit of a glide, nothing too much. Uh, pretty much goes where you put it. Well, that one weighs more grain blast now. All right, my review of the yarn. First of all, just as Griff and Mike said, this one's the first run. Regrind is very domey. That one's quite puddle topped, a little bit different there. K1 plastic always feels outstanding. Um, held up very good, as they mentioned. Uh, we threw them quite a bit of times here on the course. They hit a lot of rocks, a lot of trees, and there's really hardly anything on there. So, um, really good feeling plastic, really durable. Uh, as, far, as far as the flight of the disc, I would consider it just like they were saying, something like a zone, harp, tactic, something. The thing that I cl that's closest to the yarn in my bag is a uh, Kia. Uh, just a good flick disc, a good turnover backhand that'll flex out. They're overstable, but not too overstable because they, even brand new, they will hold the turn at least for a little while, but then uh, come out at the end. So, uh, very good disc. Uh, it's not going to be knocking the key out of my bag, but it is definitely a good disc. Um, is this, uh, they're, like they said, very overstable uh, for me. Uh, reminded me a lot of uh, like a Prodigy A2 or um, a Zone, maybe. Um, but they uh, definitely fill that spot in the bag. Um, I, it didn't matter if I, if I put a good amount of anhyzer on them, they'd, they'd fight out. Um, but I liked them both, and I, I, they're definitely a good feeling disc for my first uh, dealings with cast blast, but I like the, the feel of plastic too. It's really good. And they're very durable. We hit a lot of treats. All right, the uh, cast plast yarns. It's like saying it, yarns. <laughs> uh, to me, they felt like a glidier zone. Uh, of course the plastic feels good. One's dummy, one is puddle top. Uh, I actually felt like it was a better backhand throwing disc than the zone. I don't like a zone for throwing backhands. So I'm looking to start picking up some cast plastic discs and I may be picking these up. So maybe you should too. All right, everybody, that is it for the Castaplast yarn review. If you would like to enter to win one of these two discs, 
what I want you to do is make sure you hit subscribe. If you are not subscribed to us, you will not be eligible to, for the... If you are not subscribed to us, you will not be eligible for the giveaway on these yarns. To enter the giveaway, I want you to comment down below with a number one through 100. Now, if you are a Patreon supporter of ours before this video came up, you are allowed to pick two numbers in the comments, doubling your chances to win one of these two yarns. I will be giving both away separately, so two people have a chance to win a yarn. Please also let us know what you thought about this style of review, and let us know what other discs you would like to see us review in the future in the comments below. That's it for the review. As always, please click like, subscribe, comment, share this video with your friends, and help promote disc golf in your area. Tasty. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty then.